Crafters, it's Audra from the Kurtz Corner, and I'm bringing to you my very first summer craft for this year. This is a really easy, really simple craft. Um, I'm actually pulling this out of my archives. I've done, done this already in the past, um, and what they are are glitter sunglasses. Who doesn't love glitter sunglasses? So these are really easy and really simple to make, and I thought this would be a great tutorial to show you since summer is right around the corner. Um, in Texas, it's getting hot in the 80s already. Um, so I'm just, you know, wishful thinking, come on, summer, I'm ready for you. As you can see, I really need a tan. So maybe if I make my glasses, the heat will come so I can go lay by the pool and take a trip to the beach. But these are super simple and very cheap and easy to make. I got these glasses at Target, so they're probably like maybe $12.99. And then I used Martha Stewart Glitter. Um, it's a fine powder glitter. Uh, and it's really simple to put on. So all you need for this project is just a pair of sunglasses. Here's a close-up. See, very pretty. Lots of fun to make, very simple. Um, so all you need for this is a pair of glasses and you're gonna need some Martha Stewart Fine Powder Glitter and you're also gonna need Mod Podge and I use the gloss. Um, you can use the sparkle, anything but the matte. Matte's gonna make it really flat looking. You want the luster to come through from the glitter and make it shine. And then you're also gonna need clear fingernail polish to seal in the glitter and you're gonna need a paintbrush. Otherwise you can't get it on your sunglasses. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'll turn it around and let you watch as I make the sunglasses. Um, similar to this one, we're gonna make some with some fun seafoam green color for summer. Almost forgot to mention, the best part about this video is I'm giving away the sunglasses when we're done making them. So you can have your very own pair of glitter sunglasses made by moi from the Kurtz Corner. Um, so just check out the description below for all of the entries, uh, the ways that you can enter the contest. And um, I'll also follow up at the end of the video with ways for you to enter and win. So let's get started. Okay, so I've got my area set up now. So make sure you put down some paper or newspaper. I'm using tissue paper, whatever you want, because this is gonna get messy with the glitter. Um, you'll need a paper plate so that you can mix your Mod Podge and your glitter. So here's the Mod Podge that I'm using. It is the gloss. Um, this is like $3. You can find it at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's. Um, and then the Martha Stewart glitter that I mentioned. So iridescent glitter, and this is color winter mint. It's a very pretty um, green, like sea foam color. And then I have my paintbrush, and then later I'll pull out the fingernail polish that we'll use, and that's after the sunglasses have dried. So I have my paintbrush, and then here are the sunglasses that I'm gonna be using. So they were cool. Hey, you can see me <laughs> in the camera. Um, and here is the sides that we'll be painting. So they're already a good mint colored base. So what I'm first gonna do is take my Mod Podge and mix it on the plate. So just squirt a little bit on. You don't have to go too crazy because you can always make more later. Uh, and then I'm going to pour on the glitter. And there's really no rhyme or reason. Just don't use up all of your glitter initially, and then just stir it and mix it up until it's the consistency of, I guess you would call maybe oatmeal. So it's gonna be kind of gritty, kind of grainy. We just want a good base on the sunglasses. The, it's gonna look more white than anything, but then we're gonna sprinkle on glitter too. Okay, maybe not oatmeal. The consistency is really thin kind of runny, but it's a good mix. It's not the color that it's gonna look like when we put it on there, but you have to get a good base of the glitter with the glue on the glasses. So all I'm gonna do now is take the sunglasses and just paint a very thin, even coat of the um, glitter onto the sides of the sunglasses. And again, this is just getting the base on so it doesn't really look like there's anything on there at all. And you don't wanna glop it on there because then it'll be, um, it'll end up looking like chunky and we don't want it to look like that. So, 
whoops, get a good base on there. And I'm going to speed up the camera now so you can watch me as I paint and then we'll sprinkle on more glitter. I made a big mess. <laughs> but I have painted on the Mod Podge glitter to all sides of both bands, so front, back, top, and bottom. And then I really liberally sprinkled on the glitter all over and then just lightly tapped it off onto the paper. So you're gonna wanna save that glitter, otherwise it's a big, big waste. So just funnel your paper back into your jar. And then what you're gonna need to do then is just let your glasses sit. So I would say let it sit for at least like maybe two to three hours. You want it to be fully, fully dry before you take any next steps. Otherwise, the glue is going to end up clumping with the glitter and then you're not gonna have the pretty results that I had with my other glasses that I showed you. And then if you missed any areas, we'll come back and we'll touch those up. But this is what they look like so far and I think they look pretty dang awesome. Very pretty, very summer-ish and right on trend with that beautiful sea foam and mint green color. Okay, so I'm gonna let these sit and then I'm gonna come back and then show you how to touch them up and finish them with your fingernail polish. P.S. forgot to mention, the best way to let these dry so that you don't set them on the part that we painted is just gently set them on the frames on the front of the glasses, just like that with the little arms up in the air. You're not gonna hurt them, just put them on a soft surface so that you don't scratch the lenses. Okay, now that our glasses have dried for about two to three hours, I'm just gonna come back and touch up any spots that are missing some glitter. So I did notice that on the top parts or like here on the tips of the arms of the sunglasses or the bands, um, that it's kind of lacking some glitter. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of my glitter glue mix and you might have to re uh, mix it. Don't let your paintbrush sit, otherwise it'll dry and you won't be able to get the glitter out. So you might have to remix it if it's already dried up. Um, and then all you do is just come back and lightly brush the areas that were missed with some more of our glue glitter mix. But just be sure don't clump it on, otherwise it will it won't have that smooth finish and it'll look funny. So. Um, just come back and touch that up and then we're just going to add a little more glitter, dry, the dry glitter, not the mix. And then we're going to let it sit again for, you know, just maybe another hour or so. You just don't want to rush it, otherwise it won't look right. Um, and you'll end up with clumpy sunglasses and you don't want that. Um, so again, I'm just going to add some more glitter and then I'm going to let it sit and then we'll finally finish it up with some uh, fingernail polish to seal in the glitter. Now that our sunglasses are dry, we're ready to add on our finishing coat, which is gonna be using fingernail polish. It doesn't sound like it would hold up very well, but I've had these sunglasses for over, I think two years now, and they're still in really great condition. I mean, there's a little wear and tear on the top part of it, but overall it's held up really well just with the clear fingernail polish. So I'm really happy with the outcome. On mine, originally I had used just a clear fingernail polish to seal in the glitter. Um, but for this one, I'm going to try something new, and I'm going to use this Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Color. Um, it's just, it's a glitter. I don't know if you can really see it. They're pretty bright in here. It's just a clear um, fingernail polish. It has specks of glitter in it, so I think it'll 
seal it in nicely, but then it'll also give it a um, nice little shimmer. So you can use regular clear nail polish or you can use one with glitter in it. Um, I'd suggest one with clear glitter, not like a colored glitter, but um, it holds up really well either way. So literally just take it and paint it on like this. Um, and then again, you're just gonna let it dry. And I totally miscalculated on that last one. It, I said an hour to, to dry on the touch-ups. You really don't need to wait an hour. It's most important that this clear fingernail polish dries um, the best. So as, as long as it's not like tacky, um, then you can go ahead and start painting your clear fingernail polish on it. I think I let these dry for maybe like 30 minutes just to be on the safe side. So I'm gonna finish painting these and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I finished painting on the nail polish now and I think it looks amazing. It added some extra sparkles in there. Um, so it's actually got like two dimension sparkles, the kind that came out of the Martha Stewart glitter and then plus the additional translucent glitter that's in this Sally Hands and Clear Polish. So I think it looks amazing. So whoever gets these sunglasses is gonna be looking super cool. But yeah, that's what they look like. And I, I like how the um, fingernail polish adds kind of like a clear shine to it and it actually brightens up the glitter rather than making it kind of like flat. Um, so it's extra sparkly and it will stay that way. It won't dry, it won't fade. Um, and if you're wondering, the glitter does not make it scratchy on your face. It feels pretty smooth with um, the fingernail polish. And you can actually add an additional coat, like a second layer of clear fingernail polish once this one dries. And that will give you double coverage if you feel like you need it. Maybe if you feel like it's, it is too rough with just one coat, adding an additional coat won't hurt it. It'll just seal it even more than it already is and it'll keep it um, smooth for your face. So we're gonna let these sit again um, until it dries. So check it after like 30 minutes and see if it's tacky and then decide whether or not you want to add a second layer. Um, and then I'll show you what the final product looks like. Okay, so now we're done. I literally just added two um, coats of my glitter fingernail polish. There's glitter everywhere now. Um, so make sure you do cover up your work area. Um, and we have our completed sunglasses, our glitter sunglasses. So I think they turned out really pretty, um, doesn't do it justice, but they have like an iridescent shine to them. So they're uh, this beautiful mint kind of seafoam green color. Um, but when they shine in the light, they like pick up all kinds of different colors. So they're really pretty. So whoever wins these, I'm jealous because I actually want to keep them. I think they look awesome. So this is what they look like. And you can say that you have something made by Audrey from the Kurtz Corner. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I hope you enjoyed this uh, DIY glitter sunglasses. Really simple, really fun. You can make all different kinds for summer, pink, uh, coral, seafoam green, blue, whatever you want. Um, they're, I'd, I'd have multiple if I had the time to make all of these. Um, so. If you'd like to win these sunglasses, um, check out the description below. There's gonna be uh, several different ways to enter. Um, I'm gonna have a separate way to enter over on my blog, thekurtzcorner.com, and then also here on YouTube. So as long as you give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below, you're automatically entered. For additional entries, you can visit my blog, thekurtzcorner.com, and there will be a raffle copter um, entry method where you can enter, and I'll have you do things like like follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, leave a blog comment, share the YouTube video on your social media channels. So there's gonna be lots of ways to enter and win and then I'll have uh, just one person randomly selected. Um, so 
uh, if you'd like to win it, please enter and let me know what you think of this video. So I'll see you next time with more uh, fun DIY crafts. Bye. Mm -hmm.